Welcome back. Coming up on 617, your look at weather and traffic on the 7s for your Wednesday. And we welcome you back with a beautiful view outside with our ABC 7 weather deck. You can see some clouds definitely in the area. We are looking at a cloudy day ahead. We're also looking at some light pink and some light blue as the sun continues to rise for the start of your Wednesday morning. Now it's just outside, very fresh right now. A little bit of a difference from yesterday. So yesterday we woke up to that rainfall. Now today waking up to drier conditions. However, we are still hanging on to those rain chances, still hanging on to average temperatures. Temperature. So for today, El Paso, we are hanging on again to those rain chances, but we're expecting them to kick off a little closer to mid afternoon, early evening. For right now, with a live look at our Doppler radar, we are continuing to track some moisture and now it is moving through the hatch area, moving through Deming and into portions of Truth or Consequences. Now El Paso, Las Cruces at the moment looking a little drier again with most of the rainfall concentrated towards the north of us. Now we are continuing again with those rain chances. We are going to see them pick up a little stronger afternoon hours and then into your early evening. We are looking at storm potential even into overnight hours as well. So taking you to our future track clouds of precipitation model. Now, of course, this is just an estimate, but this model indicates we'll see those cloudy conditions stick around through your morning time and then afternoon we will start to introduce some more moisture into the region locally. So you can see most of the moisture concentrated towards western portions of New Mexico, but we'll start to see some of that make its way towards the Las Cruces region into early evening hours. So you can see about dinner time starting to see some scattered storm potential through Las Cruces and then advancing the model even further, looking at more storm development really set to impact the El Paso, Thorneo, Sierra, Blanca region come later tonight. Now when we see green, that's some light rain. When we see yellow a little stronger and we see red, that is heavier rainfall. So there is potential. We see some heavier rainfall through the El Paso area widespread tonight. And with this model indicating we could even see it into overnight hours, potentially impacting early morning Thursday. So again, keeping an eye out for the rain. We are still hanging on to rain chances today and into the remainder of your week. Now temperatures, we are on track today looking just below average. You can see 92 our expected high. 93 is where we should be. So not to worry about for our temperatures and Las Cruces looking at 88 your expected high. So with a look now at your seven day forecast sponsored by Matches Room. Again, about average today. We're going to trend at average or below average for the rest of the next seven days. Also hanging on to some rain chances. El Paso, Las Cruces hanging on to rain chances as well looking at those cooler temperatures. Michael. Thank you, Sarah. As we take a live look at I-10 and Mesa on the west side of El Paso, all that red that we were tracking around I-10 and red that has cleared up, we're now seeing all green. As officially, TxDOT did say that all main lanes have opened back up on I-10 as you're traveling eastbound, so that is fantastic news, so we're not tracking any problems there, and Mesa Street is also looking very nice and clear as you're heading out in that direction. Loop 375, just north of Montana, definitely starting to see more traffic in the northbound lanes. Nothing too major, as we are still seeing green on the traffic map as well. 